Hi everyone, I'm gonna go over some of our favorite books and activities. Some of these we just got this week um, and some of them are new for the 2020 uh, spring releases. This is Owl, a flapping, tapping, clapping, interactive book. Um, it's funny, one that kids love. So it talks about introducing the owl. Owl, you are embarrassing me. This is not how we agreed to start the book. Try tickling the owl's tummy to wake the owl up. Oh, kids really like the interaction with that one. All right, this one is Susanna's Bananas. It's one of the new spring 2020 releases. Um, it's a great phonics book. Susanna, Coos Toucan, have you heard the news? Sloth fell from his tree when having a snooze. So it has the uh, phonics to help kids recognize that. Really cute, I love the graphics. Um, this one is a great activity book, the fingerprint activities for animals. There's different uh, fingerprint activities, um, categories. I picked animals because my kids love those. Um, and we've been finding snails around the yard. So it's great, it has um, a cover over this ink pad, which is great. Um, and it is a ring, which is really nice too. So and it kind of shows you examples of um, how to do the birds on the wire and um, then the kids can do the rest um, and different things like that. So how to do a koala in a tree. Um, so this is great, especially during quarantine right now um, to get kids' um, imaginations going and activities. This is another great activity book I got and these also make great gifts. Um, uh, I haven't actually used this myself um, because this one's particular as a gift, but um, so this mermaid one, um, you use the paintbrush it comes with, which is nice that I love that it tucks in there so you can't lose it. Um, this would be great for the airplane too. Um, so you just use water and then it paints, it's great. Um, we've had a couple of um, the Melissa and Doug ones, but this is a lot more intricate um, and a lot more pages for the same price. So I'm really excited about these. And I got a couple different um, uh, kinds. Oh, this is a favorite. So this is another one of the spring 2020 releases. Um, talks about all about bug homes. So it has a hole right there so you can kind of see um, so it talks about who's hiding in this bubbly home. A baby spittle bug and it makes bubbles with its bottom. It was pretty cute. Um, this one, who carries a house on its back? A snail. So this is good quality. These pages are really nice and thick too. And so here's the, um, lots of bugs build their own homes to live in. Nice so that it flips down. There's another hole right there for the ants. It's really neat. Oh, this is one of the new Shine the Light books, which is awesome. The Human Body. This one's really popular right now. Um, I'm really excited about it. A new person is waiting to be born. Can you see her? And it's daylight right now, so I don't have a flashlight, but you can do it in a flashlight or a room or. Um, Last night we read it with um, sitting in this my son's dark room and we had turned the closet light on so, and we could see the back. So, ah, here she is. The baby is growing in her mother's belly. She stays there for nine months until she is ready to be born. So it just talks about like going to the doctor and just getting what kids are comfortable with. Talks about bones, what skin is and how it covers our body and protects us. This one's really nice. All right, here is another funny one. This one's really popular too, Nibbles the Book Monster. Um, there's three Nibbles books. Um, and we, there's the Nibbles uh, the Book Monster, and then there's um, a Dinosaur one and a Numbers one. This is a story about a little monster called Nibbles. So it has some lift the flap. Um, and then it talks about how Nibbles likes to eat holes in the books, which is awesome. So kids really like that. There is also a little Nibbles plush that you can buy too. All right, here's another 
Shine the Light book that is a favorite um, on the construction site. Um, so people live will live in the skyscraper when it's finished. Can you see the plans? Um, and there's like blueprints on the back, which is great. It talks about all the rocks and rubble in the back of the dump truck so that you can see if you shine the light on this picture. You can see it behind it, which is really neat. If you guys have any questions about these, you can YouTube the title of any book and pretty much someone has a tutorial or will show you every page in it, which is nice. Um, so this is one of the big books, uh, big train series. Um, there's a lot of different big book. There's tractors um, or trucks. Um, there's everything. This is the train one, um, which is really nice. They have great fold outs. And they're actually really nice thick pages. So this folds out. So my son is four and this one's actually a little advanced for him because it just talks about so much detail in history, which is really fascinating, but it's a little um, above his age, uh, but awesome graphics. And then he uh, this book is what taught him who an engineer is. So now he, when he, we see a train go by, he'll look for the engineer, which is great. Um, so it just talks about different steam engines and um, what different kinds types of trains that there are. So it's really cool. All right, and I'll show you um, another lift the flap. I love that these lift the flaps. A lot of times before this, I thought lift the flap was for like little little kids, um, but these are great informative um, lift the flaps uh, books that help keep kids engaged, which is and learn, which is great right now while preschool is, um, uh, I say canceled or closed. So um, it talks about where, when, what, why. Um, so where, where is this plane going? It's gonna fly through a hurricane. What are tornadoes? Violent windstorms that spin in a funnel shape. Tornadoes reach down to the ground below large storms. They could rip up trees and tear through houses. And then it talks about what do weather maps tell us? The numbers in circles tell you the wind speeds in miles per hour and the arrows point in the direction the wind is blowing. This is great to just, what are rainbows made out of? Um, what's at the end of a rainbow? So lots of great questions and answers for curious kids. Um, so those are the, some of the new ones that we um, have recently got. If you guys have any questions um, about any of these awesome books, let me know. Happy to share more too.